First graders, what's up? Hi, I am a Smith in case you didn't know and today we are doing Saxon lesson 114 with more vowel pattern practice. So what I want to do first because we're going to be talking about vowel patterns is review my favorite vowel song. You might remember you have to know the sign language for this. A, little fist. E, fingers not touching. I, pinky straight up. O, shaped like an O. U, two fingers straight up together. And our song starts like this. A, E, do you remember that one? If you know it, you can do it with me, ready? A, E, I, O, U, a loop, a loop. Sounds a little crazy, maybe lazy daisy. A, E, I, O, U, a loop, a loop. And sometimes, why? Dang it, I always forget that sometimes why part at the end. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you that was coming. Okay, let's do it one more time. We'll do it just a little bit faster and at the end, remember, and sometimes, why? And then you make a sign language Y with pinky and thumb straight out. Okay, starting A, ready? A, E, I, O, U, a loop, a loop. It sounds a little crazy, maybe lazy daisy. A, E, I, O, U, a loop, a loop. And sometimes, why? Okay, that was better. Let's do our letter cards and then we'll move to our picture cards before we do our spelling sounds, starting ghost digraph. Ready? Ghost digraph K N, ghost digraph G N, ghost digraph W R, digraph P H, digraph E Y, diphthong O U, digraph U E, digraph O A, combination U R, digraph A U, diphthong digraph O W, combination E R, vowel Y. Digraph A W, digraph E A, digraph C H, combination O R, combination A R, final syllable T I O N, combination I R, diphthong O I, diphthong O Y, G, ghost digraph K N. Good work. Okay, picture card starting not. Mm. Ready? Not, n, mm. nat, n, mm. wreath, r, phone, f, key, e, soap, o, faucet, ah, straw, ah, mouse, ow, cow, ow, butter, er, star, r, cry, i, candy, e, horse, or, bird, er, turtle, er, lotion, shun, Circle, s, bow, o, leaf, e, Woo! ready? Thread, e, eh. steak, a, eh. banana, a, uh. oil, oi, toy, oi, glue, u, giraffe, j, not, n. Mm. You got it. Okay. And now the suffixes. Ready? Suffix, t, d, ed. Suffix, ing, suffix ness, suffix e, suffix less, suffix li, suffix s, z, suffix es. You got it. We will stop right there. Okay, let's go to our worksheet and we will do our spelling sounds. I'll say it when I point to you. You say it when I hold out my hand. Tell me the letters that make that sound. Number one. Oo, digraph o o. Number two, uh, digraph o o. Number three, ol, l, final l l. You got it. Number four, v, v, final, 
vi i... Number five, watch my teeth very closely. Number five. F final, F, F. There we go. Number six, toll, final syllable, T-L-E. Not T-I-O-N, T-L-E. Number seven, goal, Final syllable, G-L-E. Good. Number eight, I. I. Good. Number nine, A. O. Number ten, B. B. That was too easy. K. By number 11, uh, we haven't done any digraph AI words for a long time, so I want to do a digraph AI word. Spell for me the word fail. What word? Fail. Using AI says A in fail. Okay, will you spell fail for me starting F? Ready? F A. I-L. A-I says A and fail. Next word, let's do another digraph A-I word. Spell for me the word. Air. What word? Air. Using A-I says A. Okay, will you spell air for me? Tell me how you did it. Starting A, ready? A-I-R. Air. And if you need to fix it, remember you can do that right now. Hey, good work. As soon as you have those done, you can go ahead and park your pencil and I want you to look up here for a minute. We talked a couple of weeks ago about vowel patterns with letter A. And we said, well, first of all, do you remember what the vowels are? I wrote them up here on the board and we did our song, but will you just quick say them with me first? Starting A, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Can you do it faster? The vowels are A-E-I-O-U. You got it. Okay. So over here in this word, I have two vowels. A is a vowel. Uh-oh. And Y is a vowel. I should probably add that up here because it's making a vowel sound. So I say vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant B, split it after the first vowel. And that left... An open vowel is long, code it with a macron. And now my A says A, A, A. And when I read that word, it said bay, B, baby. And of course, I can put my little vowel dot above my Y. But that was when we did a vowel pattern with letter A, splitting it after the first vowel, splitting it after the letter A. We did another one with a vowel pattern for A that looked like this. Vowel, vowel, consonant, split it after the first vowel. But then we realized something. If we coded this open vowel as long, code it with the macron, and this one's open vowel, the word didn't make sense because it said, A, go, A, go. And a lot of kids said, Miss Smith, it doesn't make sense to say a long time ago. We usually say a long time ago, ago. So if we want the vowel to say uh, 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 we code it with a schwa. Did you hear it? We code it with a schwa. Good. And a schwa is like an upside down E or sometimes kids just do a little circle with a line through it. But if I code it with a schwa, now it says a uh, go. Will you read it? A uh, go. You got it. So we talked before about how there's two different kinds of vowel patterns you can do with letter A, but both times you split it after the first vowel. What I want to do today is see if you can also do vowel patterns where we split it after the first vowel using letters E, O, and U. I think you can because we've done this before, so this should be kind of easy for you, but let's just practice together. 
if you have a whiteboard, will you get your whiteboard out? Or maybe you just have a piece of paper and that's okay too. But what you're going to do is spell a word with me and then we're going to find the vowel pattern underneath. So leave yourself some room for a vowel pattern. Ready, first letter, E, V, E, N, T. Even if you know it, can we code it? We say E is a vowel, E is a vowel, consonant V. Split it after the first vowel. And do you notice now we've left an open vowel in that syllable, there's nothing after it. An open vowel is long, code it with a macron. And a brief above this E because it's followed by a consonant. Now, can we read the word one syllable at a time, starting E? Get ready. E, vent, event. Like, I went to the event, to the party or the activity. Nice job, that word is event, erase, erase. And let's try one, okay, let's see. We did letter E, of course we had already learned letter A, so let's try a vowel pattern with letter O. Can we do that, ready? First letter, P, R, O, there it is, T, E, C, T. And even if you know the word, that's okay. We're still going to code it and see if we can read it with the coding. Ready? O is a vowel. E is a vowel. T is a consonant. Split it after the first vowel. And now it leaves an open vowel. Code it with a macron. Breathe above the E. K back on the C. Can we read one syllable at a time? Starting P, it goes. Pro, tect, protect. Hey, like I will protect you. I will keep you safe. Protect, erase, erase. Okay, so we did one with letter O. Can we try one with letter U? Ready? For, and this actually needs to be a capital letter that we start with. We're going to do capital J, U, there it is. L, Y. Can you find the vowel pattern? Vowel, vowel, consonant. Split it after the first vowel. Macron, the U. Vowel dot, the Y. And give it a macron because it's going to say the I sound. Can we read it one syllable at a time? Starting J, U is Ju. Ready? Ju, Lie, July. Hey. Like the month of July is the hottest month of the year, and that's why it's my very favorite. <laughs> erase, erase. Nice job. I don't think we'll do a vowel pattern with letter I today. Today I just wanted to work on E and O and U. So now I'm not going to tell you how to spell it. Now I'm just going to give you the word, and I want to see if you can spell it without me helping. Ready? Clappers up because they have two syllables, we're going to clap them. First word, clap with me the word pretend. Ready? Pre-tend. First syllable, pre. Add your next syllable, make it say pre-tend. And then code it, don't forget to code it. Pre-tend. Okay, can we check it? Pretend should be P-R-E-T-E-N-D. Did you get it? And you should have said vowel, vowel, consonant, split it after the first vowel, macron brief, so that you left an open vowel in the first syllable, pretend. Erase, erase, or fix it if you need to. And let's go to our next word. Next word, would you get your hands up and clap with me the word hotel. Ready? Ho-tel. First syllable, ho. Add your next syllable, make it say ho-tel. Get 
Okay, let's check it. Hotel should be spelled H-O-T-E-L. And I hope you noticed O is a vowel, E is a vowel, consonant, split, make, gone. Uh, some kids wonder, why isn't tell a floss word? Why don't we have two L's? We would if the word were just tell all by itself and it just had one syllable, tell. But this is not the word tell by itself, it's the second syllable in hotel, so that's why it's not a floss word. Did you get your open vowel O? Nice job, erase, erase. And, ah, oh, this word is kind of tricky, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Hands up, will you clap with me the word duty? Like something you have to do is your duty. Ready? Do, T. First syllable, do. Think about which vowel says ooh, 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 and do, T. Ooh, and I'll give you a clue. There's no letter E in this word, so you have to think about which vowel says E, E, E at the end of a two syllable word. Do T. This one's tricky, tricky, tricky. Are you ready? Do T should be spelled D U T Y. Open vowel U says ooh, ooh, ooh. And then if you did it right, your vowel pattern would split right after the letter U. Do T. Just like that. Okay, fix it if you need to. Erase, erase. And tell you what, let's take a break from vowel patterns for a minute and see if you still remember our doubling rule. Can we try it? Okay, uh, choppers out. Tell me the root word and suffix in patting. Root word suffix patting is pat ing. Root word is pat. Add your suffix, make it say pat ing. Pat ing. And let's check it. Ready? Root word pat should be spelled P A T suffix I N G. Nice job. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. First graders, I think I just made a big mistake because, do you remember our doubling rule? If a root word ends in a vowel consonant and comes in front of a vowel suffix, you double the consonant, you double the consonant. Oh man, let me see if I can squeeze a little T in there. Ooh. Okay, I think it's right. Did you get it right? If not, fix it. Erase, erase. Next word. Choppers up. Tell me the root word and suffix in setting. Root word suffix setting is set ing. Root word is set. Set. Add your suffix set ing. The root word ends in a vowel consonant. Ooh, that was close. Okay, let's check it. Setting should be spelled S-E-T-T-I-N-G. Uh, and sorry, my T's are kind of squished because at first I forgot the second letter T. But then I realized root word ends in a vowel consonant and comes in front of a vowel suffix. Erase, erase. Next word, can we take a break from the doubling rule and think about which diphthong says ow, ow, ow? Choppers out, tell me the root word and suffix in sounds. Root word suffix sounds is sound. Z. Root word is sound. Think about which diphthong says ow, ow, ow in sound. You can look at our sign if you need to. Which one says? in the middle of that word. Add your suffix, make it say sounds. Sounds. Okay, let's check it. Sounds should be spelled 
S-O-U-N-D-S. Box my suffixes. Arc diphthong. O-U says ow in the middle of a word. Erase, erase. Okay, last word. I'll do kind of an easy one because all you have to remember is what says ow at the end of a word. I'll give you a clue. It's not O-U. Spell for me the word. Wow. What word? Wow. Okay, let's check it. Wow should be spelled W-O-W. Arc diphthong. O-W says ow at the end of the word. And I'll tell you what, if you got that right or if you fixed it so that it's right now, you can put a little smiley face in the O for wow. Erase, erase. Okay, and as soon as you have that part put away, let's go back to our worksheet and finish it up. We're coming up to the top by number 13. Up at the top by number 13, will you spell for me the word? Well, let's clap it. Can we clap it? Hands up. Clap with me the word even. Ready? E, then, first syllable, E. That's easy. Add your next syllable, make it say E, then. Spell it for me, starting E, ready? E, V, E, N. Nice job, we should have left an open vowel, E, in, even. Number 14, hands up. Clap with me the word. This is a word that means if you leave something out, you forget to put it where it's supposed to go. Clap with me the word omit. Ready? O, mit. First syllable, O. Make it say O, mit. O, mit. Will you tell me how you spelled it starting O? Ready? O, M, I, T. You got it, omit. 15, uh, hands up, let's clap this one too. Clap with me the word pretend. Ready? Pre-tend, first syllable, pre. Add your next syllable, make it say pre-tend, pre-tend. Starting P, will you spell it for me? Ready? P-R-E-T-E-N-D. Pretend. Nice job. Okay, let's go through and code our words. As always, stay right with me, even if you can go faster. And then at the end, I have a story that I'll tell you about the word pretend. Okay, 16. Guys, these are gonna have to be super nice and small because vowel patterns take up a lot of room. Ready? Vowel pattern. Vowel, vowel, consonant. Split it after the first vowel. Macron, breathe. Will you read it, will you read it one syllable at a time starting H? Get ready. Ho, tell, what word? Hotel, you got it. And there's a picture of a hotel. Match it. 17, I hope you notice at the end, A consonant E, make grand cross out. When we find our vowel pattern, remember, we're not putting it under the crossed out E. Once we cross it out, we leave it alone. So vowel pattern will be under the first E and the A. Vowel, vowel, consonant, split it after the first vowel, make grand. Will you read it? Starting on letter D, get ready. D, bait, what word? Debate, you got it. 18, U consonant E at the end. It says, ooh, make grand cross out. C in front of E, give it a sedilla. It makes it soft sound. Now, when we find our vowel pattern, find it with the O and the U. Ready? Vowel, vowel, consonant. Split it after the first vowel. Make grand. Ooh, this one's tricky because we've got a U-C-E is going to say oos. Can we try it? Okay, starting P. Get ready. Pro, deuce, what word? Produce. Produce is like 
fruit and vegetables that you buy at the store? Produce. 19, combination ER says er, arc it. Vowel pattern, vowel, vowel, consonant. Split it after the first vowel. Oh, make raw on the U. Will you read it starting SU is Sue? Ready? Sue, perb, what word? Superb. Superb means, oh my goodness, that was fantastic. Superb. 20, oh man. Okay, 20 is crazy. Final syllable, T-I-O-N, bracket. First part of the word, find a vowel pattern. Vowel, vowel, consonant. Split it after the first vowel, O. Make, gron, breathe. And the C comes in front of T, we can give it a K back. Oh my goodness, this is like way too tricky. Can we read it one syllable at a time? Starting PR, ready? Pro, tech, shun, what word? Protection, nice job. If you have protection, it means somebody's making you safe, taking care of you. 21, ghost digraph WR says er, underline cross cell. Digraph NG, underline, breathe above the O. Can we read it together starting WR? Get ready. Wrong. What word? Wrong. You got it. 22 is a compound word. We're going to find the two words. First word, breathe above the I. Next word, AW says ah, R, underline. And split it after the letter G. We read the two words with me starting on J. Get ready. Jig. Saw. What word? Jigsaw. You got it. Jigsaw like a jigsaw puzzle means puzzle pieces you put together. 23 is also a compound word. Let's find the two words. First word, I, consonant E, make, gron, cross out. Next word, O, consonant E, make, gron, cross out. Will you split it between the E and the C? Split it right after that letter E. And let's read one word at a time, starting P. Get ready. Pine, cone, what word? Pine cone, you got it. There's the picture, match it. 24, ghost digraph KN says N, underline, cross out the K. Digraph OW says O, underline, cross out, make on the O. Can we read that together starting KN? Get ready. N, O, N, what word? Known, like, hey, I have known you all my life. And number two, oh, 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 25 is so tricky. <sighs> I hope you're not freaking out and crying like I kind of am. Ready? Digraph AI says A, underline, cross out, make on the A. Ghost digraph GN says N, underline, cross out the G. Now, when I say vowel pattern, look, it's A is a vowel. AI counts as a vowel, consonant, consonant, split the syllables. This is our first vowel pattern we ever learned. We just split it between those two consonants. Breathe above the A. Oh my goodness, this is tricky. I'll give you a clue on this second syllable, watch. P says P, AI, A, G, N, N, P, A, N. Can we try putting the whole word together starting on First syllable, letter C. Get ready. Cam, pain, what word? Campaign. Nice job. A campaign means a program that you put together. Good work. Okay, I told you I would tell you a story about pretend, and I will. When my daughter Isabel was only three years old, there was one time that she thought it would be funny to pretend that she was lost. Pretend means it's not really happening, you're just acting like it is. So what happened is we had gone to the store together and, and I was looking at all the clothes. We had gone to a clothing store and I was looking at all the clothes and I told Isabel, Isabel, stay right here by mama. Don't move, you've gotta stay with me. And she said, okay, mommy. But as I started going through all the clothes and moving them aside to look at all the different shirts, I looked down 
and I noticed Isabel wasn't with me. And I said, Isabel? Isabel? And I didn't see her anywhere. And I looked behind me and I looked across at the other parts of the store and I could not see her. And I started to get so scared. And I said, Isabel, Isabel. And this lady heard me and she said, did you lose someone? And I said, yes, I lost my daughter, Isabel, and I'm so worried. So she started helping me look and she was going, Isabel, Isabel, Isabel. And then other people heard us and they said, do you need help finding your little girl? And I said, yes, please, I can't find her. And I was freaking out. So everybody started calling, Isabel, Isabel. And we were walking all over the whole store trying to find Isabel. And all of a sudden I walked back to where I had been at first and I was so upset, I was crying and I was going, where could she be? And all of a sudden I heard, <laughs> and I said, Isabel? And I opened the coats that were in front of me, I moved them apart and I looked down and sitting on the rack looking up at me was Isabel. You got it, it was Isabel. And I said, Isabel, what are you doing? And I picked her up and I hugged her and I said, don't you ever do that to me again. And I hugged her and then I said, don't you ever do that to me again. And I hugged her again because I was so relieved to find her, but I was so mad that she was pretending to be lost and she wasn't. And she looked up at me and she said, sorry, mommy. <laughs> Can you do it like she did, ready? Sorry, mommy. Isabel can be kind of a stinker sometimes. Okay, that's all for today. See you guys later, bye.